Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the recipe of the week. The recipe of the week. Welcome back to the recipe of the week. Welcome back to the recipe of the week. I'm so excited to talk about this recipe of the week today. Well, this topic, this subject. I want to talk about having mercy and compassion towards people. This weekend, got an opportunity to hang out with Jaden to, we went to go see Wakanda Forever, you know, the Black Panther. We're huge Marvel fans. We're so glad that it came back, that they made another storyline concerning the matter. But it was so good. I will not give any facts because if you have not gone to see it, I don't want to be the spoiler. But I want to say that there were so many lessons, so many takeaways for me. Oh gosh, all in one. So I want to talk about one particular scene. I am not going to give any, any spoilers away. I just wanted to talk about one particular scene. One particular scene was a person was wanting vengeance against another person for something that they did to her. Well, the Bible says that vengeance is vengeance is the Lord. Vengeance is never ours. Although that is so easy for me to just fumble out of my mouth. Sometimes that's very hard to do as humans. That's why we have to rely on the father's strength to help us in situations when we just want to be back in the Old Testament with an eye for an eye. Well, it is no longer an eye for an eye. It is not. You do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. That's not really how it works. I was talking with one of my students, Lord have mercy, and she was saying, when they go low, I take them to hell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, it's not an eye for an eye. It is not, you did it to me and I'm going to make you pay. No, that, that's not how it works. How it works is you rely on the father <clears throat> to take, excuse me, to take care of the situation that is so not easy. It is so not easy because yes, especially when it comes to our family, when it comes to our kids, if somebody does something to our kids, I know how I am. Somebody does something to Jaden. Oh my goodness. I am just on war. Get ready because he's a child that does not do anything to anybody and stuff just happens sometimes. So sometimes our kids have to bear their own cross. But I am here to say that God is a God of compassion. And sometimes we have to take a step back and look at ourselves. Sometimes we hold people to the fire concerning matters that they've done to us and we want blood, we want them back, but that is not how it goes. Nobody can handle situations better than our father, our holy God, the superior king. Nobody can handle the situation like him and not necessarily not necessarily saying that hey i want to get them back but like i was talking about the one particular scene she had an opportunity to kill this person but i love that her mind flashed back to lessons that her mother taught her what was instilled in her there was a seed that was planted and it manifested on that day it manifested in a good way because she spared the life of the person it just my it just popped in my spirit a minute ago a second ago when david had the opportunity to kill saul saul was very low down to david <clears throat> excuse me extremely low down extremely low down david had the opportunity to take Saul out, but he did not. He had compassion and he had mercy. Well, think about this. God has so much mercy and compassion on us, different things that we do. He has mercy and he has compassion. So I try my very, very best to walk in that in that manner or on that journey of serving with compassion and mercy daily. And I often talk to my kids or kids in the hall about, hey, let's not do that. Just because they did it to you, don't turn around and do it back to them. Well, it was planted in me because my mother always said, Kwasanya, just because it was done to you, don't turn around and do it back to them. She planted that in me and it grew up. That seed grew up with me and that's just how 
I am. So the recipe of the week is coming from Psalms 103, verses 8 through 10. Concentration scripture is verse 8. Uh, Psalms 103, I'll be reading the Amplified Version today. 103 and 8, and the word of the Lord reads, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in compassion and loving kindness. Verse 9, he will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. Verse 10, this is a good one. Verse 10, he has not dealt with us according to our sins as we deserve nor rewarded us with punishment according to our wickedness. Everybody sins in some way, form, or fashion. Sometimes we sin and have no clue that that was a sin. That's why it is so important that we wake up every morning. Favorite scripture, Father created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me every single morning. The, the Bible says new mercies, there are new mercies every single morning. Father, help us every single morning to be a new, a better person. There was another movie that I was watching this weekend, something on Lifetime. This guy, um, gang member, killed this guy's family. I just killed the family, wife and the daughter. He wanted vengeance back so bad that he killed the person that killed his family. As a matter of fact, he killed everybody in the entire gang and he died along with them. Very tragic. Now, I cannot say how I would feel or how, I, I can't say that uh, because it was very tragic, extremely tragic, but the Bible says that vengeance is the Lord's. Sometimes people do things to us and we want to nail them to the cross. But that is not for us to do. The Bible says right here that um, the Lord is slow to anger and abounding in compassion. So we should be as him and loving kindness. We should be as the Lord, strive to walk daily, having compassion on people, trying to understand why. What, what For me, when I understand why a person is doing what they're doing, sometimes it gives me a, a lot, a lot more grace. Uh, this other situation I was watching, this young lady couldn't understand why she was so promiscuous, like extremely. But it went back to her past. Her past was very tragic because her stepfather used to abuse her. That is why she was the way she was. So you never know why a person is the way they are. You never know why a person is being rude or being mean or being ugly acting. It is our job as Christians. Lord, help us to have compassion. It is our job. Go to the Father. because Father, it is so hard when people do things to us. We just want to punch back. We want to fight back. We want to get them back. You did it to me. I'm going to do it to you. It's not always easy to say, I'm going to have compassion and mercy on this person. Going back to the, the, the Wakanda forever, she wanted to take that person out. She was so angry at the fact, I won't tell. She was very angry and she wanted to take that person out, but she did not. She spared the life of the person. So on today, I admonish someone, when something is done to you, it is not an eye for an eye. It, it's not. Um, it's not. It's not. It's hard, but God. Somebody say, but God. Go to the Father. Lord, I need your strength. Lord, I need your help in this situation. Because there are times people do stuff to me <laughs> a lot. Sometimes the kids lash out slightly, but I always know that there's a reason reason why they're doing what they're doing. It's not necessarily towards me, something that they have going on. I always have compassion, mercy, and loving kindness towards people. It is not easy to do. It is a constant 
something that you have to work on daily. It's a daily thing. But our health, our strength, our journey of compassion and mercy and loving kindness, all that comes from the Father. Lean in on Him. Depend on Him. If you try doing it on your own, you'll fail. It won't work because we are human beings full of flesh. Daily, we must ask the Lord to help us. So, Father, on today, we honor you and we thank you. We thank you that you are full of loving kindness, that you are full of compassion, that you are slow to be angry with us, God, because you are our Father. You created us and you know us. You know when we're getting ready to fall down and you're right there to pick us up. You know every single thing about us, every hair that's on our head, every thought, Lord God, every Everything, if it's getting ready to come out of our mouths, Lord, you already know it before we say it. Father, we ask for more compassion. We ask for more mercy, Lord, that we want to give towards people. Lord, we know this is a journey of being more like you. Help us to be more like you, Lord. Patient with people, kind-hearted, willing to help, oh God. Move us to the side. We want more of you and less of us. Father, we know that is a hard pill to, to swallow because saying more of you and less of us is killing that flesh. And sometimes that is um, a very, very hard thing to do. But with you, we know the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We love you and we honor you. Lord, please help us. Please help us to have a clean heart, pure daily, daily, God, daily, daily. Help those that struggle with that, Lord, that if they say that they go low, they want to take them even lower. Father, help those people that have that mindset. Give them the mindset of you. Change their perspective to be more like you, to love like you, walk like you, walk in peace, walk in love, walk in joy. Father, and we'll be so careful to honor you. We honor you and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. You guys have an amazing week. And remember, because you have heard this recipe of the week, Sometimes you'll be tested on that. A person will come and you have to show compassion, loving kindness, and be slow to be angry, to slow, to yeah, to be angry with that person. Just be a little bit more patient with people. You know why? Because God is so ever, ever so patient with us. You guys have an amazing week. I love you, but most of all, God loves you way bigger and better than I ever could. You guys have an amazing week.